And welcome back to GTU, everybody. The sights, the smells, of course, the taste. We are missing restaurants. They're such an important part of our society. With the current struggles, we are all doing what we can to support local restaurants by highlighting spots that we all love on the show every single day. It's a brand new feature we're calling Save the Faves. And we are starting with Michael McHenry from the McHenry Group, who joins us live outside with how the changes have impacted his restaurants. I know you have three of them, Michael. This is how we do interviews now with social distancing. So hi, outside our hi studio. There. Nisha, hey, so great to be on with you. Great to see you. Tell us about the changes at your restaurants that you've made over the past several weeks. Well, I can tell you, it's just been absolutely crazy uh, the last couple of weeks, and especially right now. I mean, anytime, um, especially for a restaurateur, when your dining room closes and one of your like biggest missions or kind of your ultimate goal is connecting people through food in your dining rooms, and all of a sudden people can no longer sit at your dining room table, that's a bit, uh, that's a bit challenging, uh, to say the least. So you have turned to takeout and curbside pickup. How has that transition been going? So we have most definitely moved to takeout, uh, curbside as well as delivery. Um, and we're, it's just, it's a part of like innovating this new way of serving. Um, but again, as, as a restaurateur in the neighborhood, I think we still have this really exciting opportunity to bring our offerings uh, to your own dining room table now through takeout delivery as well as curbside pickup. So we can be, bring our very essence of our restaurants uh, to your own dining room. Ooh, which, Michael, uh, we're looking yeah. at some of the food you brought this yeah. morning. What are those dishes? Yeah, so right now you're zooming in on our spicy chicken. So that's our, our spicy chicken sandwich that we do in-house, of course, at Ginger Street. And then we have our, our staple orange chicken. Of course, we sound a little biased, but I believe it's some of the best, if not the best in town. And then our yellow curry, which uh, features some unique flavor profiles, uh, butternut squash, um, uh, Fiji apple, um, fresh veggies, uh, peppers as well as uh, roasted pepitas on top. And then of course you can add a uh, chicken steak uh, or chicken, tofu, or shrimp to any of our uh, curry dishes. It's 9.15 in the morning and my mouth is watering. That looks so good. Michael. Everyone's out here wanting to take a bite. I said right? not, until, not until the show's over. What safety precautions are you taking for people who are picking up? Can they feel safe about bringing that food back to their home? Well, Nisha, you know, because I've seen you in our restaurants before, you know that we're already safe oper operators. Like this is something that we always take the community's health seriously as restaurant owners, as managers, as leaders, servers, cooks, and chefs. But right now I can tell you that our restaurants have never been safer than they are today. The disciplines that we're bringing, the hyper focus that we're bringing to sanitation, uh, to how we're handling food, to how we're receiving food, to most definitely how we're leading a, not, a no contact effort. When you pick up food from us, uh, take out, we're, we're engaging that on a table that has a six foot barrier. Um, through, through the non-contact uh, non delivery services. So right now, um, I wanna stress this, and I'm glad that you asked the question, but I wanna stress to the marketplace that it is safe to order takeout and delivery from your local restaurants. Michael, let me ask you this. We all want to help. We don't want yeah. our favorite local restaurants to yeah. close, including Ginger Street and mine, yeah. Oakwood Fire Kitchen, right by me there in Draper. What can we do to help as a community? I'll tell you the biggest way to help right now, uh, Nisha, is just to, just to activate, to, to come out and support local business and, and specifically local restaurants. And I think right now with the pandemic state, the, the anxiousness, the, 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 just the, the fear that's out there uh, in this pandemic, allow restaurants to kind of lift a bit of the burden. Let us bring this essence and this food to your own dining rooms and create a bit of an experience and get some relief. As a, as a restaurateur, that's what I want. I want you to enjoy this experience and now you get to do it in your on your own dining room table. Oh, you get to bring that home right there, yeah, everybody. Absolutely. That looks a so, lot more amazing than what I made last night in my own kitchen, Michael. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think I think without question and, and again it's just just activate. Um, in, embrace your local businesses, order takeout, order curbside, uh, order delivery, um, and, and also like jump on. Realize that the individuals that are out there right now, this is about survival. Um, you know, we're, we're operating of course, but I think the average restaurant in the market right now, their revenue is down over 80%. And I think greater than two thirds, even more of our staffs, unfortunately, Nisha, have been laid off at this point. And so those that are out here working every day, um, we need to support them. We need to take care of them. I know for me, I'm picking my local favorites right now. On my way home, I'm buying dinner from other restaurants 
restaurants to help support those teams uh, and those owners and, and our, our neighborhoods that we love. And Michael, that is something all of us can do and we can do it today, we can do it tomorrow and we can help everybody. Go uh, to the mchenrygroup.com for more information about Ginger Street, Oakwood Fire Kitchen and Dirty Bird. I love them all. Save the faves. That's what we're doing on the show right now. Michael, so good to see you. Yeah, likewise. Thank you so much.